Hills is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. It is Saturday doing a training coaching video for the entire world. This is a great tactic and I have used this for years, years. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Leading stocks produce leading groups. I'm not saying that to be cute and funny. It's a fact. We use these facts to help us in screening what to look for. We try to key and it works on strength, strength. It's reflected in the individual stocks. It's reflected in the individual groups. And in this instance, we use the ETFs. So we're gonna go through these and I'm gonna show you, this is a daily chart and we're gonna talk about strength and weakness. And that will help guide you going forward, which is what I want. It's what we teach in Mission Winners. Not just give ideas, but explain why. I always used to tell this people years ago when we was teaching them advanced classes. To know that two plus two equal four is knowledge. To know why two plus two equal four is knowledge that is applicable to other situations. So here we go, here's biotechnology. Let's frame it up. This is the 200 day, this is the 50 day, this is the 21 exponential, and the yellow line's the eight period exponential. Showed a little bit of strength here with some higher lows, resistance at the 50 day. That's something to remember. What's it need to do? Push through the 50 day. What's one positive? It has a higher low. This low is higher than this low, but we have to be careful with the market. So there's biotechnology, not that bad. Cloud computing, compare and contrast. This is bad. Lower lows, below all the moving averages. It tells us, stay away from cloud computing stocks. Folks, that's power for us. It's not just what should I look for, it's what should I avoid? We have a limited amount of money and a limited amount of time. We use both assets wisely. So let's continue onwards. Electric vehicles. Yeah, you know what? They need a charge. Okay, that's dad humor. My kids would be shaking their head right now. Anyway, my grandkids would be shaking their head. But anyway, you can see this is dropping lower lows. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dow Jones Internet. In fact, when I say leave it alone, I'm saying avoid those stocks for right now. Okay, Dow Jones Internet, lower lows. Looks pretty rough. Be careful with that. IBD 50. This has a slight higher low. It's below the moving averages, fell on heavy volume here, rallied up on a slight pickup in volume, fell again on less volume. Slight higher low. But consider this. This is an ETF of the quote unquote leading stocks, the IBD 50. That's a great list, a great list. I'm not casting stones at it, by the way. I'm praising it. It's a great list, but that's kind of indicative of what's going on in the market. The best, you know, these stocks that they find they're not doing nothing right now. Be cautious. Right here, gold miners, higher low, but not a lot of power here. Be careful. It is a higher low though, okay? Remember that in gold miners. Gold, higher low, but again, there's not a lot of power here, folks. It's below all the moving averages. Be careful with it. Biotechnology shows a little bit of life. This looks a lot better than some of the others. And you can see it's got a higher low and a little base here. What's it need to do? push through Friday's highs, and it needs to push through on heavy volume. I'm not saying buy it, okay? But I'm just pointing out potential. All right, something to watch. Online retail, lower lows, leave it alone. That's simple. You see how fast that was? We don't have to overanalyze. Another energy, look at this. IEO, E-I-E-I-O, look at this. Going sideways, doesn't look that bad going across these tops, does it? Okay, energy, we'll remember that. Now that's two of them we've seen. Two oil energy stocks, continue onwards. What's this one? Technology, lower lows. This looks bad, leave it alone. It tells you stay away from technology. Medicine, they need, uh, they need some to get drugs here to get fixed, don't they? There's not a lot of power here at all, folks. One saving grace, it did gap down and reverse and closed up on a pickup in volume. It reverses back down on less volume. Pretty choppy down here, below all the moving averages. Be very pragmatic. You're not gonna see this set up in any book saying, this is what you look for, okay? Just make it that simple. Mid cap, eh, kind of loose here, small, high or low, uh, not the best, not the best. It tells you to be cautious with mid caps. Home construction, hit a lower low, choppy, stay away from home building stocks. S&P 500 growth, uh, put a drop and reverse in on Thursday and then gave it all back on heavier volume on Friday, lower low, be careful with that, all right? Small cap, rallied up strong on Thursday, gave a decent amount of it back, but it did demonstrate some decent power on 
Thursday, small cap stocks. Okay, that's something to maybe take a look at. Airlines, high or low. See this? That's not too bad. I'm not saying buy it now, but at least it's demonstrating some strength in relation to a lot of other industry sectors. This demonstrates a little bit more strength. Got ugly again on Friday though, so you gotta be cautious. Regional banking, double bottom here, slight high or low, okay, pennies, but again, pretty choppy. This was a good bar on Thursday though. Maybe it'll go sideways and start to lift off. Something to consider in regional banks. MDY, mid cap, high or low, lifted off and they gave it right back on the Friday. Be cautious, but it is a higher low showing a little bit more strength in other areas. What does that tell you? You can look at some mid caps. There we go. Oil, energy services. This doesn't look too bad, does it? We just saw a bunch of ETF industries that look pretty bad. This doesn't look too bad. Note the price alert here. Note the volume that it put in on Friday. Oil, OIH, oil services. Maybe it'll take out these tops. This doesn't look too bad. There you go. Brent crude, eh, it's okay, but it's pretty choppy here and it fell on pretty heavy volume. Be careful with that, okay? Pro shares, online retail, in one second, literally one second says, stay away from online retail, done, done. That is tremendous power. It's not just areas that I should look at, but areas to avoid. And I'm telling you, online retail, stay away. There we go. Pharmaceuticals, it's just chopping around here a little. There's not a lot of power here. This fell on pretty heavy volume, so be careful with the pharmaceuticals. QLD lifted up on pretty good drop and reverse on Thursday, gave quite a bit back on Friday, chopping around right now. But eventually, it will lead to a basing pattern of some sort, maybe a higher low setup and take off. And admission winners will be ready. We're prepared. QQQ, just like QLD, same situation as we discussed. Retail rallied up. You can say, oh, that's a pretty good bar. Didn't have any volume, folks. And then on Friday, it gaps up and closes down near the lows on a pickup and buy. Stay away from retail, lower lows. That's simple. That's power for us. Cloud computing, lower lows, had a decent day Thursday, gave a lot of it back Friday. The trend is down. Here's a great tactic for you. If you'd like to know the trend, take a picture of the chart. Tape it up on the wall. Go to the other side of the room and look at it. That tells you the trend. And I will tell you something, team. I've been doing this since 1986. Trends pay more than anything else, and they pay more with less stress. That's a fact. There you go. You don't want to burn out in this, all right? Silver, it's pretty choppy. I'd, be, I'd avoid silver. Steel's pretty, it's got a higher low, but it needs to really take out the high here with really heavy volume. There's a lot of overhead supply here, by the way. Say, so really? Yeah. Here's the monthly, here's the weekly. A little bit of overhead supply there in there, folks. There we go. Continue onwards. Semiconductors. Good day on Thursday. Gave quite a bit back, but you know, this is at the lows here. I mean, look at the weekly on this. That's not so good, folks. In fact, that's downright ugly. And that's why, you see this whole, that's why we really haven't been involved with semiconductor stocks. We let the charts tell us what to do, not our opinions. Keeps us on the right side of the action. Helps us make money, keeps us safe. Spiders, dropping down, lower low. Good, good reversal on Friday. Runs up, reverses down on fairly heavy volume on, on Thursday, excuse me, on Friday. Resistance at the 21 day. What does it need to do? It needs to take out Friday's highs on a heavy volume, okay? What would be better? If it formed a, low, a higher low like this, this low higher than this low. You see that? We called this out and we owned SSO coming through here. There you go. In fact, that's the next chart. There you go. And look, good day on Thursday, gaps up, reverses down on pretty heavy volume on Friday. It needs to take out these highs with good volume in a market, okay? There you go. By the way, here's the higher low I'm talking about. This low higher than this low starts to lift off. And that was a good run, folks. You see this? I'll show you. Listen, we made a video on this. This was on the key list. There you go. We'll be ready for the next time, whenever that is. Solar stocks, flare out, leave them alone. Had to say it, small caps, leverage, you know, good day Thursday, but chopping around here. Needs to show some power taking out Friday's highs. Be cautious. Uranium, nothing. 
Another oil ETF, United States Oil, doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. There we go. It doesn't look great either. Aerospace and defense, no, not so good. Biotechnology, another biotech ETF, not so good. Be careful. Home builders, chopping around, no real power there. I'd be cautious. Materials, mm, decent day on Thursday, gave a lot back. This is choppy, folks. Okay, this is the kind of stuff that'll just, it'll chew you up back and forth. Clean and simple base breakouts are clean and simple higher low setups is how money is made reliably with less stress. And stress can derail your thought processes, okay? So yeah, I've got a degree in psychology too. It's one of the things I'm involved with. So I study this stuff. Anyway, let's move on. Energy, oh, another energy ETF. Doesn't look too bad going across those tops. Looks better than a lot that we saw, didn't it? Financials, lagging, I'd be cautious with that. Industrials, lagging, it had a good day, but you know, just chopping around down here. This is down, this is low. Okay, below all the moving averages, be careful. Just be careful. Technology, lagging, uh, had good strength, but look, it just gives it all back. Lagging, needs to show some power. Consumer staples, lifted a little bit. Gives it, it's just chopping around. Remember, this is important. The M in mission winners is the markets. Healthcare is just chopping around. Not a lot of great stuff right there. Uh, consumer discretionary, lower lows. This just doesn't look so good, folks. Be careful with it. Metals and mining, eh, not so good. Oil, another energy, you know, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Have you seen the theme? This is why we do this. You walk away from this and say, I guess the bigger takeaway is, yeah, be careful, but a lot of the energy sectors don't look that bad. Maybe that's an area I need to look into. Retail lagging, nothing to do with it. Software, lower load, this is not so good, folks. You say, well, that's a pretty good bar. This is a great lesson. Look at this bar. And look at the volume, down on heavy volume. This far, up on less volume than it went down on. There's no power. Be careful with software. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Pat Walker at Mission Winners doing a video overview of the major index ETFs and the max list. These are the big sector section ETFs, all right, like the spiders, etc., and also the big name technology stocks, stocks like Apple, Amazon, Google, Microsoft, the big names, big money flows in there. And it also can be a tremendous place to look for opportunities and also a great barometer for what's going on in the markets, because these are a chunk of the market. So we'd like to be organized and systematized in mission winners. So we're going to run through this. Here's the spires. This is a day chart. OK, and I need to share this with you. Protect your eyes. It's important. And I've done a lot of research on this because I had some serious issues. Protect your eyes. Focus on higher resolution color contrast. I found that and I'm not telling you what to do, that black is great. And that, that dark color is vivid in relation to these bright colors, the contrast. So just wanted to share that with you. This is the 200 day. This is the 50 day. This is the 21 exponential. And this is the eight period exponential. These are simple moving averages and these are exponential. And there's about two years of research on that eight, eight period exponential moving average. So anyway, that's what we've got there. What's the trend? The trend is down. Had a decent day on Thursday and then gapped up and reversed down. And look where it stopped, right at the 21 day and falls. Chopping around here, overall, be careful with it. Continue onward, SSO, same situation. What could happen here though? I'm gonna go back here. This could eventually form a higher low. Not now, not today, but eventually it could do something like this, where this low is higher than this low, and that is serious money. And yes, this was on the key list, SSO was, and that was a good return, right? Here, buys, buys, and off to the races. There you go. Hasn't happened here, but we'll watch and we'll see eventually. We'll watch for it. Also note this, we are coming into the seasonally strongest period of the year, the last quarter. Huge rallies can start in the last quarter. I'm making another video on that this weekend. You, I can document it. A picture's worth a thousand words. I'm gonna show you thousands of words that will help you be better prepared. Mission winners, we're always prepared, always. So, but for right now, not much to do. 
QLD, same situation, chopping around, not a lot to do at this point in time. Eventually, this could form a higher low. This is QQQ. Here's QLD. Form a higher low like this did. And that was a really good run, too. Higher lows. Look at that. Continue onward. MDY had a good day on Thursday, gapped up and reversed down on Friday. It's just indicative of the chop. What's one plus about this pattern? It has a higher low. Something to consider. See this? The low here is higher than this low. Look at QLD. This has a lower low. This low is lower than this low. See that? Lower low, higher low. So we'll watch and see what happens. IWM, lower low. Had a good day on Thursday and then gave it back. It's just indicative of the market. Don't argue with it. I'm, I'm just showing. I've been doing this a long time. I managed money in 1986, 87, started then. And we avoided the crash. Just don't argue with it. I'm not saying we're going to have a crash, please. I'm just saying, don't force things. Clean and simple is the most reliable way to make money. TNA had a good day Thursday, gave a chunk of it back on Friday. Notice where it stopped here, here, on the falling 21 day. What did it do yesterday? Rallies up, pulls back off the falling 21 day. You think we're the only people in the world that know about the 21 day? By the way, that's the 21 day exponential. This will really help you. Get in line with what is. This is a great quote from Dave Landry. I had this taped to my monitor for over 20 years. I'll believe in what I see and not in what I believe. I'll believe in what I see and not in what I believe. Let the market action, price and volume, tell you what to do. So let's look at the max list. What do you say? Here's the first one. Apple, lower low, lifted up, chopping around here a little bit. Had a higher low here. See that? And buys here and here. That was a really good run. Right now, it doesn't have that yet. Be cautious. Amazon, lower low. See this? Lower low. Chopping around. Needs to just settle down. Had a higher low here. Had buys here and here. And that was a good run. But right now, choppy. Leave it alone. Alibaba, there's nothing good there. Look, there's nothing there. Move on. Don't overthink it. There's nothing there. Move on. Baidu, nothing good here. Leave it alone. Focus on some strength. There is none here. Just ignore it and narrow down your search. This had a decent day on Thursday on a pickup in volume. Lower low, though, and then gaps up and, you know, look what it does. Rallies up to the falling 21 day and falls. You want to see something? You think we're the only people in the world that know about the 21 exponential? Look at this. Rallies up to it, falls right off of it. Rallies up to it, falls right off of it. Rallies up to it, falls right off of it. Friday, rallies up to it. You know what I was going to say. I won't say it again. <laughs> but you get my point. Trends pay. Get in line with it. Don't argue with it. Just got to wait. That's simple. Facebook, Meta, chopping around. There's nothing good there. Microsoft. This had a higher low, and this was a nice run and a clean base breakout. It was on the key list. That was great. Lower lows here. Needs to do some work. Okay, be cautious. Netflix. Netflix is actually basing okay. See that line I drew? Need to take that out on really heavy volume. Also note, needs a good market. Got to have a good market. The M in mission winners. M comes first. Markets. Continue onwards. NVIDIA. Chopping around here. There's nothing good. Lower lows. Downtrending. See right here this higher low? This low higher than this low? Buy right there. Buy more. And a nice lift. There we go. Nothing right now, though. Leave it alone. Tesla. This is what I call an electrifying move to the downside. I had to say it. I'm sorry. You know, don't hit me because then I'll arrest you for assault and battery. See, that's good dad humor, right? You got to have fun, too. All right. Take this seriously, but enjoy the time, too. All right. Down here. By the way, that also yesterday afternoon. And I told the VIPs and I posted, I think, on the big feed. I left. I went on a hike in the woods, two different places, severe hikes. Just got away. Got away. Don't argue with it. You can make more money when the market's trend trending than you can trying to fight with it. You make more money with less hassle. This is not good. Leave it alone. Leave it alone until it forms a pattern. Nothing to do with it. Do you realize the power in that right there? It's like it's less, less to look at. It improves our concentration on what's left. There's Twitter. Um, this is in, you know, the takeover talks, battle, back and forth. 
It's form at a base here, but be careful with takeover talk stocks. Bull markets have not been outlawed. Remember that. And emission winners, we have an open mind. We watch what's happened and we'll be ready for it. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like. Maybe hit that subscribe button. We come up with new content nearly every day. Also, check out the videos on the right. YouTube recommends the one on the top, and the bottom one is something we thought you might enjoy. See you next time.